Okay, so this is a conceptual drawing that we've done that shows the rail coming in right here. We're proposing to put a covered uh, a process area just to keep rain, snow, that type of thing uh, out of the containment because underneath that will be uh, a, a uh, concrete containment area that is all sloped down to a sump. Any rain, snow, any liquid wash down, uh, if there were any leaks, anything that is in that area would drain to a sump and then that sump is pumped into a containment tank and that tank is pumped back into the rail car that would be shipped back to our plant in Winnemucca and it's incorporated into the water or into the product because our product is 70% water. It's 30% sodium cyanide, 70% water. Here is a little bit closer view that shows that there, there we plan a structure that accesses the top of the rail car where the fittings are made. And I have a short video that I'll show you in a few minutes that just shows at some of our other facilities this actually taking place. The uh, rail car is pulled into place. It is, uh, they make uh, connections with hoses and pipes on the top of the tanker. It goes over an overhead uh, uh, structure. And then we uh, hook the hose on the truck up to it. The the um, the the hose. There's another. There's like an overflow that is when the truck is full. The product goes back. Excuse me. Right to the rail car, so that there is. It's a closed loop system. It's not like you have to stop at a certain time in order to make sure that you've loaded it to the full point. It loads all the way and then goes right back to the rail car and then those those uh, hoses and pipes are blown out back to the rail car and the uh, tanker truck is delivered to the customer site. How many rail cars would be there at any given time? Yeah, we're, yeah matter of fact, we're going to uh, touch on that right now. It's designed for a maximum of six loaded cars at the site at any one time. And uh, this right here shows... Um, uh, the site itself where it would we propose to put just a small building right here that uh, would house uh, uh, operations. Uh, this is the covered structure right here. The tanker trucks would enter the property right here, pull through. This This is all a, uh, a gate, gated and fenced area that would be put around the, uh, the site. And uh, there are also our standards um, chemical facility anti-terrorism uh, standards, which is the, the uh, CFATS standards that DHS has in uh, Department of Homeland Security has, that that's another level of security that we have in place at the uh, at all of our facilities. Um, this is County Road 12 right here, and it comes in. I can go, let me go back one slot. Oops, a couple right here. 